Okay, here's the before. Oh yeah, that looks way better. And so, let's see, it's a 10 mil, 10 millimeter, and uh, it's just two screws, and I think you need a screwdriver to get the uh, little plastic rivet thing out. All right, so I was screwing the wrong one out. It's only these two on the outside, these two right there. And then there's this sucker right there. I'll show you how to get that out, but I removed these. You know, you know that was a mistake. That's the back of that housing. And because I really hate empty holes, I'm gonna actually put these right back in. And there are some clips. And all it is is the clip that, you know, it's a the clip that holds it. But that way it'll look finished. And then this thing right here, you just stick the screwdriver in there and pop the you pop the center thing out. I need both hands, but once you pop the center thing out, then it just comes right out. There, see. There you go. All gone. And that's what it looks like with everything back in place. I did not, I'm gonna leave that hole open right there. And then this hole was open, but put the screws back. Let's see what it looks like from the other. Okay, that's the cheapest mod that I've done. I think it looks great. See a little more of that suspension. It gives that aftermarket bumper look. Looks great from the front. Yep. Pretty cool. All right. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.